What's happening everybody? So tonight I want to go over playing Xbox on my MetaQuest 3. I haven't done this before. Let's see how easy this is to set up and if it's actually worth setting up and worth doing. I'm excited for this experience so let's just get right into it and see how this goes. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing right now. This is usually my area where I edit my videos, but now I have a big screen on top. I can use my hands if I want, whatever. You know what the Quest 3 does. I'm gonna use the controller to save us time and it's a little smoother, I feel like. Okay, so in order to do this, I feel like we're gonna have to go to the store, obviously. And then once we go there, how about we just type in Xbox? Um, yeah, so yeah, I don't have to reach to do this or bring this down. It's a beta. Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta. Ooh, rated three stars. But let's try it out. You know, I'm very interested to see how this goes. If this works well, this is going to be crazy for traveling. Because yes, on the channel, I talk about doing this on your phone. But on the Quest, I mean, this is just like a whole other thing. Boundary not found. Create boundary. Can I do it through the pass-through? Let's see. No. Okay, let's create a boundary. So first thing it's going to ask us for is to pair a controller. So if you have your Xbox controller, go ahead and hit this button back here. And then your Xbox logo will start blinking and you should see it up here. There it is. Just had to back out and go back in. Yes, we want to pair. Oh, this is a nice little environment. Controller connected. You're almost ready to use your controller with this app, but there's a few more things we need to know about the controls. All right, use the meta button to your right hand. Finally, let's start playing, whoa. All right, so this looks good, this looks good. Is it already signed into my, okay, now I'm using the controller. Here, let me get out of here. I wonder if I can move this. Can I move this whole, like how do I move this? There we go, that's nice, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so the way I moved that was just literally pushing the meta button and adjusting it to kind of where I want it to. All right, so here's where we sign into our account. All right, so I logged into the Xbox Cloud Gaming. Anyways, let's get straight into it. So first thing I wanna play has to be Halo Infinite. Now, one thing with Halo Infinite, we're gonna be playing the campaign. So it's not gonna be online with other people, it's literally gonna be just us going through the campaign. Also, on here on the bottom, you can see small, medium, large, extra large. So let me click medium, and it kinda messes with the size of everything too, which is really cool. Everything's going really smooth. Now, like I said, this is my first time doing this. However, I did read some reviews saying that there's a lot of controller latency or like it's very buggy with the controller, but but I'm using the controller and honestly, I don't see like any sort of like hesitation or anything. Like I don't see any lag. That's the word I'm looking for. So let's try this out. The graphics look really good. I mean, they're not like exactly the same as playing on the Xbox Series X, but they're still really, really good. Also, moving around isn't too bad either. Should I keep this? Okay. Oh, and just a heads up, I haven't played Halo in a very long time, so I might not be that great. Don't judge the gameplay, okay? But let's see how this goes. Like right now I'm sprinting, no, I have no problem sprinting. Jumping up, there's no lag. It's really, oh, I see him now. Oh, there, there's some lag. There's some lag right there. Ooh, y'all see that? Yeah, it's lagging pretty good right now. Keep in mind, it may be my internet. Right now, while I'm playing this, I'm at my house. Oh, what happened? It's also because I might be recording too. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, pick me up where I left off. I'm happy I didn't have to go through the whole main menu again, because that would have sucked. I still, I'm still trying to find somebody. Here's a little something. I don't think I killed that group. 
See, right now it's working perfectly fine. Oh, that's a little weird. I don't know. The, oh. Honestly, I've never passed this level before, so if I do end up passing this level, I guess the quest is doing pretty good. Oh, there he goes. I guess we'll go back to... Oh, no, we won't. But so far, this looks good. It's working good. It's like every now and then I'll get a little lag. Nothing too crazy. So, I mean... Would I use this again? More than likely. But, like I said, it could also all depend on your internet and things like that, so... If you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, or terrible Wi-Fi, might not be the best. Alright, so that's enough of Halo. Honestly, with Halo, this did a lot better than I expected. I thought it was gonna be garbage, but honestly, this works really, really well, so... Let's get out of here and let's play an online multiplayer. So we're loading up Fortnite right now, and honestly, this is a multiplayer game. So I feel like this may be a little bit more choppy. Let's see if he could handle it because you got streaming, you have recording, and then you have the multiplayer. So it's it's a lot going on there. Let's see if the Quest 3 can handle it, but I am very surprised on what it's done so far. And you know, I so far I recommend it. I think this is great. It's, it's definitely a new experience, especially, like I said, if you're traveling, if you're going anywhere, the whole environment's a vibe. I will say, I don't know what it is, but I feel like the graphics on here don't look as good as on Halo. Maybe I'm tripping, maybe, I don't know. We'll be Captain America, because why not? But let's play around. I feel like... Don't get me wrong, these graphics are still really good, but if you play on the Series X or even the Series S, you're going to be able to see a big difference in detail compared to what I'm looking at right now and what you look at whenever you're playing the Series X or the Series S. If you play Fortnite and if you want to play with me, my name is Mick Saucy. I, me and my wife play on Fortnite quite a bit. This is one of the top multiplayer games I play because whenever we play, we take it serious. It's me and my wife's bonding time. And I'm being serious, she's good. She's a little too good, I'm getting concerned. All right, first things first, we'll hire this person. This is my usual thing. So if you're watching this and you play Fortnite, please don't go here, this is, this is my spot. All right, so we'll get one of these, get one of these, all right, cool. So I haven't seen anybody yet, which is crazy because a lot of people usually come here. But as far as... Yeah, you see, I don't know if you could see on the screen, but I feel like it looks a little pixelated. But let's see. The real deal is whenever we find someone to see how it kind of responds. Oh, wow. I mean, that that really didn't take much. And nothing really happened. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, if you don't have an Xbox and you just want to get Game Pass, you can even try it out for a month if you never had it before and you have a Quest 3. Technically, all you need is the controller. And I mean, you can get a controller used for like 10, 15 bucks, I feel like. 20, I don't know. But you can get an Xbox controller really cheap because it doesn't even have to be the new Series X controller. It could be an older Xbox controller like the Xbox One and it'll still work. So you could definitely find some of those pretty cheap. I'm telling you, I think it's good. I'm loving this so far. Oh, these aren't Magnetos. Gloves. Is someone shooting at me? Oh yeah, someone is. All right, let's see how it works with this guy, because the other guy died too quick. Hopefully I don't die too quick, because that would be a shame. All right, where? Oh, here he is.
That wasn't too bad. So this is actually going a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna go. Like, okay. So with the first two opponents, it was pretty good. Let's see, uh, there's someone else shooting. I don't know from where, but. Oh, my thing killed him. That's good. Oh, and there's someone over here. Of course there is. I feel like I got a little bit of lag. Just a little bit of lag on that one. But, I mean, nothing too crazy. Like, this is actually going surprisingly well. I feel like this is actually smoother compared to Halo, which is actually very, very weird. So with this, it's crazy because this is still in the beta phase. So once it's done being in the beta phase, or even just like a couple months or maybe even a year after, I feel like this is going to be so much better. That's what happened whenever I first played uh, xCloud on my phone. At first, and this was like two, three years ago, it was just terrible. But now, it's very, very, very good. And so I feel like that may be the same thing with this. I'm sorry, let's... Oh, my buddy's gone. All right, there was a little lag. You know, I think I'm about to lose right now, which is fine, you know, it's okay. But I am also Captain America. Nah! <laughs> Good job, sir. All right, so. So Fortnite actually worked really, really good, like a lot better than I was expecting, especially with me recording on the headset, because I think that was gonna be one of the challenges, because whenever you do recording, then it kind of just messes some stuff up. But honestly, that worked out a lot better than I expected. So overall, would I use this again? Definitely. I was very surprised when it came to Fortnite. Like, I was extremely surprised. There was not as much lag. Halo Infinite was good, even though we did have that little crash that happened at the beginning. It still worked perfectly fine after that. And I'm surprised there wasn't a delay in the controller. The lag wasn't too, too crazy. And I would definitely do this again, especially if you already have a Quest 3 and you already have an Xbox or an Xbox controller, download this. This is free and check it out. It's just amazing. It's free to download on the Quest Store. You may have to download it or get Xbox Game Pass. You'll have to have Game Pass for this, but downloading it on the Quest is free and it's something I think you should definitely do. I had a very good first experience, but then again, my Wi-Fi is very good. If your Wi-Fi is bad or if you're in a place with bad signal, it's not gonna be as good, but honestly, I love this and I will definitely be doing this again. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions or anything, leave them down below in the comments. And if you wanna see more Quest videos, let me know what game on the Quest or what type of content you wanna see from this channel. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.